Hey guys, Proper English here. One of the questions that I see people asking fairly frequently is, what is a good way to do vertical wiring? And so today I'm going to show you a few different methods, some going up, some going down, and we'll take a look at some of these examples in a few of my builds. So let's get started. One of my favorite types of vertical wiring is the spiral staircase. This is both fast and compact. It can go up and it can go down. And the main difference between going up and going down is how we extend the signal. So over here, I've got torches extending the signal upwards. And over here, I've got torches extending the signal downwards. This is easy to make too wide stackable if we alternate the direction of the spiral. So this one is spiraling counterclockwise. This one is spiraling clockwise. And so we can stack these up perfectly because they do not interfere with each other. And that is awesome. Now, there are some hidden benefits of spiral staircase wiring, and if we take a look at one of my more recent builds, we can see some of them. We are hanging out by my GPU RAM, and I used spiral busing like crazy in this thing. So we've got a line for the input over here in spiral busing, and a line for the output. And using a spiral staircase allowed me to keep this more compact than it otherwise would have been, because these two spirals can stagger if I try to use vertical glowstone busing here. It wouldn't have worked out so well, and actually that's the first thing I attempted, but then I switched over to spiral staircase busing because it allowed me to stagger things very easily and get this super compact ram cell. This is a 5x5 five five ram cell. If you want to check it out, check out the annotation that's up right now. So let's take a look at the next type of vertical busing, torch towers. Sometimes people look down on torch towers because of how much delay they can add to your circuit, but in some situations, they are fantastic because they're super compact. You can see that it is quite a bit of delay, but this is fitting into a one-by-one -one space. The downward version is not as compact, but we can stack them up one wide. And let's take a look at a situation where I've used a torch tower very effectively. The one situation in which I've used a long torch tower is in my transparency circuitry. This is a GPU component, and what I've got here is the solid state version. I haven't done a video on this guy yet, but I will at some point. And I needed to send a bunch of signals vertically in a small space, so torch towers were ideal for this situation. They're not always ideal because they do add in quite a bit of delay, but in the right situation, they are super useful. So don't throw them out of your toolbox, just use them when it's really advantageous. The final type of vertical busing that we'll take a look at is glowstone and half slab busing. This is very similar to the spiral staircase in terms of both size and speed, but there are a few key differences. The first is that glowstone and half slabs will only send a redstone signal vertically. The second is a bit more useful. Because of the shape, so the redstone signal is going back and forth, we can actually pull out a bunch of useful outputs here. And one of my favorite uses for this is in an XY decoder for a screen. So let's take a look at one. This is the XY decoder on the screen of my ellipse drawer, and you can see that glowstone wiring is super useful here. We're sending outputs right into these torches, and the glowstone makes that very easy. Hopefully today's video has given you some insight into the different types of vertical wiring and how you can use them in your own builds. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.